welcome back to a brand new episode of Downhill Supply. This weekend, we are at the third round of the French Cup in Metabier. This morning, we inspected the course, but due a practice crash, I cracked my phone and lost the video files. Let's hop straight into the action because Group A practice is about to begin. This is what happened in my second run. And this three corners later. <laughs> After this hit, I was afraid to crash once again. The rest of the day I rode in a controlled manner. But on race day, we were only allowed to do one training run. So I had no choice to put more work in. Today is race day. Today I have to put all the pieces together to put down the best run possible. It has been raining all night long and it won't stop until late afternoon. This means we have to race in poor conditions, have bad vision and race in really cold conditions. But the rain will probably wash out most of the mud and it will be better for racing. This morning we have one run to get a feel of the track and get a feel of the soil. Here's how practice went down. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to ride with my helmet camera during my qualifying or my race run. But I'm going to break down the track and give insight about certain sections and my line choices. As you can tell about the sound of my tires, it's very muddy and it's hard to maintain good vision as the GoPro gets dirty on the way. I cut out some parts because the GoPro was too blurry, otherwise you won't be able to see anything. Here we are at the open section. It was hard to maintain good speed throughout this section because the dirt was very sloppy. Through the tight trees into the forest we go. This is where I crashed in my second practice run. It was very important to keep high speed throughout this turn because it was slightly uphill further on and it's very easy to lose some seconds here. Here's a big road gap followed by a bull turn into a little wooden section like pretty much straight out through here little rock garden right here very easy to get offline onto the fire road we go into the steep section i took the high line to set up perfectly for these two tight turns I was riding with the 29er setup so front and rear so it was a must I got as fast as possible through these turns. On the fire road we go into the enduro section slightly uphill and pretty straight through setting the tone at the beginning getting some pedal strokes in. <laughs> into this little bus stop right here two tight turns pretty hop over this sketchy route and it's pretty much straight through here little pre hop over this off camera route trying to keep my speed for this section and now we're coming into the section which I felt I could make a mistake in my qualifying or my race run so I took this 
high line on the left, but it was pretty sketchy because there were some invisible roots that want to take out your front wheel. I got through clean in both of my runs. In my qualifying run, just before this left hander, I tried to pull my roll off and got a little offline. Because of this, I tipped over and lost a bunch of seconds in my qualifying run. From on top here down to the finish line, it's pretty much flat out. No hard sections and pretty much by parky turns. But due to the splashing water, it was pretty hard to keep good vision as you can tell by the GoPro screen. I didn't touch the brakes from this point on to the finish line. This results in me carrying a lot of speed on the last grass part. Quick pull on the roll off, that was run down the racetrack of Metabier. Eventually, my race run was good enough for P18. Given the stacked French field that was there, I was very happy with this result. I had some small mistakes during the way down, but I regrouped after all of them, which got me into 18th position. I was quite happy to leave this place safely after the big crash on Saturday. In two weeks from now, I will be in Le Oré for the fourth round of the French Cup. I can't wait to ride the track there and see what I can pull off.